Okay, the first thing we wanna do is using the 17 millimeter socket, we'll go ahead and remove the drain bolt and let the engine oil drain completely. But take note, once you remove the drain bolt, inspect the crush washer for any damage. And if it's damaged, you'll wanna go ahead and replace it to prevent any leaks. Once the engine oil is completely drained, we'll go ahead and reinstall the drain bolt, torque it to 6.5 foot-pounds. Now, we're just gonna loosen up the left side fairing and it's held in place with three snap rivets and four six millimeter allens. Now we'll grab our oil filter wrench and remove our oil filter. I'll put a link in the description to the exact one I used here. Before we put our new filter in place, you'll want to dab a little thin coat of oil on the o-ring that'll make removing the next time a lot easier. Then we'll go ahead and reinsert our oil filter, torque this to 14.5 foot-pounds. Then we'll spray off the exhaust for the oil, that way it doesn't get any smoke. We'll reinstall our side fairing. Now it's time to fill the engine up with oil. Suzuki recommends 2.6 quarts of 10W40 motorcycle oil. The owner of this motorcycle preferred AMS oil, so that's what we went in this case. But you could use any motorcycle oil. Now we'll just reinstall our oil fill cap. And now we're going to start the motorcycle up, let it idle for just a few moments. That way the engine oil gets circulated through the system properly. Once we've done that, we'll go ahead and shut it off and let it sit for a few more moments. That will help us achieve an accurate oil level reading. Okay, now on the right side of the motorcycle, there's an oil sight glass. You want the oil level to be in the middle to upper portion of the sight window. And as you can tell, this is perfect. So let's hit the road. <laughs> 